Hi, so now we will discuss the repeat keyword which offers a great flexibility when it comes to uh, repeating some value to be printed. Uh, for example, if you see my screen, you can see that uh, I have kept ready three variants of this, um, uh, this keyword. And the first one is, as you can see that uh, repeat text two arguments. First is val, which is value. And uh, second is op, which is occurrence. So here you see that uh, the value a to be printed five times. So let me quickly execute it. And as you see that uh, a is printed five times. So it works as expected. Let me quickly comment it out. And let's go to the second variant of it. Let me uncomment. Let me activate. And here you see that uh, I'm printing uh, digit 1 and 10. And in between both of them, I'm printing underscore as a value 8 times. Let me quickly execute it for you. As you can see that uh, it is printing 1 and 10 and in between there are 8 underscores. Let me go back to the code and uh, let me show you the third use case. Uh, let me quickly uncomment it, activate it. Yeah, so here you see that uh, I'm using a try catch block which is used for uh, catching an unexpected uh, exception. So you see here I am I am using the repeat keyword but uh, the catch is I am using a negative value for occurrence which is not acceptable in this case uh, because repeat uh, keyword doesn't take negative values for occurrence and which is logically correct. We cannot repeat uh, a value negative number of times. So it has to be a positive value. So if this occurrence is a negative value, it throws an error, which is CX SY string per val. So let me quickly execute it for you. And let's see it if it works. And it prints error. So it catches the error and writes the error.